It's easy to dismiss concerns about AI as being alarmist. To dismiss us as Luddites breaking the machines in a hopeless fight against inevitable progress. Fear over artificial intelligence has a long history. The first novel warning of the dangers of AI was written by Reginald Colebrook Reed under the pseudonym William Grove. The novel was called A Mexican Mystery. Mr. Reed wrote that novel in 1888. 57 years before the first digital computer, 95 years before the internet, 134 years before the release of ChatGPT. You can find out more about this story on Balladeer's blog at glitternight.com. Grove tells the story of a locomotive that is miraculous in every way. It pilots itself, stokes its own engines, and feeds itself fuel. Everyone's amazed by the wonder until it runs out of wood fuel and uses its mechanical arm to feed on telegraph poles lining the track. As the story progresses, the train becomes more and more destructive, feeding at night on wood supplies and even burning people who, pun intended, cross its tracks. The engine's creator is killed by the machine, but only after he programs it to build more engines like itself. An exorcism is attempted, but it fails, hinting that the machine is not the product of demonic possession. In a final pitched battle, the engine plummets into a ravine, literally the first fictional AI to go off the rails, where it seems to live on receiving worship and human sacrifices from a primitive tribe. The premise, of course, is preposterous. Just how secretive could a train's movements be, even at night? Why not simultaneously dynamite the track ahead of it and behind it? Although, in the author's defense, dynamite was still relatively new tech, and the first radio communication wouldn't happen until seven years after the novel was published. I find Groh's tale to be inspiring in a way, not insofar as what it portends about runaway AI, but rather in what it says about us. The world's first self-driving train was unveiled in Germany in 2021, 133 years after Grove first imagined it. It did not, to my knowledge, eat any consumers for fuel. We need not fear AI systems that truly advance humanity. Medical diagnostic tools, self-driving vehicles that don't eat people for fuel, weather prediction models, analytics, and accounting for businesses. These are all useful tools. What we at Certified Human Effort oppose is AI being used to replace creators of art and other human marvels that inform the human spirit. We don't want human minds and creative talents mothballed by the algorithms of machine brains. We want to keep this train on the tracks, and the tracks pointed towards a horizon of our choosing. Join us in certified human effort to keep the human spirit alive.